friends what is up and welcome back to my channel y'all it's been a minute since i've done one of these vlog type videos where i just sat down and run my mouth <laughs> y'all know i'll be running my mouth but it's been a minute like these last few months i feel like i've been just going and going and going and going and going and going like but in a good way in a positive way in a positive positive way so some of y'all don't already know i took a leap of faith and decided to quit my job what was it like two months ago december 1st was my last day working at the company that i was working for previously and i quit my job and decided to pursue being a full-time business owner like if y'all seen that video when i tell y'all y'all might have not understood how nervous and scared i was i literally think the hardest part was the fact that i have I, I graduated from college a year ago and this was like the first real like almost corporate like really like big wig type of job that I really got since graduating and I'm like I worked hard in college to get this degree I worked hard to get this job like am I really about to just throw it all away and don't get me wrong the money the money was good the money was at least I thought the money was good at the time now that I know what I know now I was scammed but it's okay we all live and we learn but no y'all seriously like I was so so nervous about quitting my job I guess I mean I guess I was doubting myself I was doubting what I could do I don't know what it was I was just super super nervous I was so used to having that security of a paycheck and I didn't realize my full potential, my full blessing, my full calling, my full purpose. Like now, like my eyes, quitting my job was the best thing ever, period. Best thing ever. If I had any regrets, it would be that I didn't quit sooner. Like, honestly, no lies. Like it would be that I didn't quit sooner. But at the same time, I, I I didn't quit sooner because it wasn't time. God needed to show me a few things. I needed to, to understand a few things. So it worked out. It worked out at the time it was supposed to work out. And when I tell y'all, so like in January, my goal was to at least make $1,000. My first two weeks in January, I made, I believe it was like, over fifteen hundred dollars like past my goal in just two weeks like so it's just it's just really really it is it's amazing like i'm so so blessed like every morning i just think about how blessed i am i'm blessed that i don't have to you know go to a job that i don't like i'm blessed that because initially don't get me wrong i love my job however after a while and after you know first when you first come in at a job they're like loving you they're praising you but then it's like the better you do the more they want for you like the harder you work there was a cat right there y'all i'm terrified of cats i'm just making sure but no the harder you work for a company the harder they want you to work the more they want from you and it was beginning to be like draining like it was overwhelming like the fun i had in my job was being like sucked out of me and i no longer was loving my job so just being able to wake up and do what i love which is making wigs making people look cute like helping people like even from my videos like my youtube videos like people write me all the time like thank you so much like i appreciate your videos like all my wig making videos all my little knowledge that i'm giving y'all like i'm just telling y'all what i feel like might can help y'all now if it doesn't help y'all okay i'm sorry but i want to try to help y'all if i can so that's my only goal like you know i've learned that when you have a passion about something and when you love something, it's not about the money. The money gonna come with it. If you are genuine, if you are 
treating people the way you want to be treated treating your customers giving out producing an honest product literally in these last few months like i've been my eyes have been open to so much stuff like i've gained so much knowledge and you know i've come to just become a better me and i really appreciate that and that's not to say like everything's perfect everything's peaches and cream like i don't still have worries but i do but it's just like when you know it's already being taken care of it's like uh, -uh i can't i can't harp on this situation i just gotta keep on pushing you know learn from things and keep on moving but i just want to say to anybody out there you know, in 2024, make it about you. Like, it's a song. I forgot who. I think it's like a rapper or something. But basically, it's called being. It's fabulous. It's a new song about being selfish. Like, when, like, if you listen to his verses, I don't know if y'all rap fans, but if you listen to his verses, like, it's just being selfish. Be selfish. Like, all the time, all of the years of taking care of this person and helping out this person, like, what have they done for you? Like, where has that gotten you? And that's not to say you you do want to help your people and look out for your people when you can. But it's just like, if you ain't helped you yet, if you not in the position where you want to be yet, how are you doing all this stuff for other people? Especially people that are not even grateful or who are not even, you know, taking advantage of the help. They're just, you know, laying on their backs. Or, you know, whatever it is that they're doing. Not to say laying on their backs like that. But you know what I mean. Like, help yourself. Help yourself. Like, it's time that do what it is that you want to do in life and if that's quitting that job if that's starting your business if that is starting your nonprofit group whatever it is that you are called to do and that god has planned for you like do it do it if it's something that's been in your head in your mind for years on years and you always think back to it it's probably it's probably a passion of you so you know go for it try it out and you know sometimes things don't work out and that's okay but at least you can always say okay i tried it you know i got what i got from it now let's move on but you never know that dream or that idea could turn into something like so crazy like something that you never would uh, even imagine you know so i just i'm just being more grateful in life um you know looking at things on the the better side like taking what i can from it even whether it's a good experience or a bad experience i'm taking what i can learning from my mistakes and learning from others and like every day i wake up with a mindset like i want to learn something new what can i learn what can i learn like i'm just like a sponge right now just taking it all in but um yes i'm like i am probably the happiest that i've ever been in my life besides like the birth of my son and of course things like that you know my other son my you know my kids but just being happy like within myself within the things that I'm doing like feeling accomplished like as a woman as a mother like I feel like I'm finally you know setting good examples for my children I'm able to work and and still be a good mom because we all know when you work like when you're out working and you gotta come home gotta cook like i'm able to plan my days okay you know do my wigs and let's take a break let's get dinner started you know all right do my wigs okay from this time to this time i'm not doing nothing but focus on my kids and then get them in bed and then back to the wigs like i'm able to prioritize my life to still do what i need to do and still handle my business and when i'm going to work i'm actually excited like when i put my kids to bed i'm like okay finna make these wigs like i am pumped so i mean it's kind of hard to explain it especially if you're not in that place yet but i'm telling you the advice that i would give you is do what you love go for what you love if, if you like it you want it go get it like don't listen to what anybody has to say um you know don't listen to the negativity you know stay away from the negativity if you can you know it took me time to realize that certain people in my life was not meant to be in my life like people are meant when i when when they say people are meant for a season or a reason i i can understand that because you know 
I've learned and I got what I got and then it's time to move on. So it's my little rant. I hadn't been on to talk to y'all in a minute. I want to let y'all know I'm still here. I'm still alive. I just been busy, busy, busy working, getting out these wigs. You know, for someone that's interested in wigs, if you haven't yet checked out my website, definitely check it out. I'll leave the link down below. And you don't got to buy nothing. You can just browse to see what I have. But, um, yeah, I appreciate y'all. And one big thing, one big thing, one big thing. My channel is finally monetized. So, I was super, super excited about that. I got, I got like about $20 or something. But, you know, it's a start. It's a start. I'm blessed. I'm happy. I've been trying to get into the habit of just not even looking at it. Because I feel like it's going to go where it's going to go when it's time, you know? So... Just stay positive, stay blessed, y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for continuing to support me through this journey. Especially, thank you for everybody. When I was so nervous, everybody was like, "It's gonna be okay, girl. You got this. Like you are, like you, you got this. Like just stop worrying." So I appreciate y'all for encouraging me, and um, just thank y'all for supporting my channel. And I love y'all. Until next time, I'm 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 gonna try my best to get on here and talk to y'all more. But that is it. Until next time, y'all have a great productive week. I love y'all. Bye, friends.